I know my hair looks crazy, but I'm going to get it done today in a couple hours. Don't know what time it is because I record on my phone. So I'm going to get a press and trim. I haven't pressed out my hair in months. I know for a fact the last time that I did it was in January. So it's, it's been months. Oh, and I straightened my hair. I straightened my hair again in October for a ponytail, so I could do a little ponytail, or whatever. And when I straightened it, I measured it because I am on my own hair growth journey. And I have 14 inches last. Well, I had 14 inches in October, so I want to press that out. I need a trim. I do have a color on my ends and. I do my best to do my um, deep conditioners as well as hot oil treatments and things of that nature, but uh, color does eventually dry your hair out. And um, yeah, if you wanna keep that length, you're gonna have to trim a little bit or whatever, and I, I can use it. So that's what today is about. But because I, when I went to make my appointment, the only thing that I did schedule for was a press and trim. I didn't schedule for like a deep conditioner or anything of that nature. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna prep my hair. I'm gonna do my own hot oil treatment and I'm going to uh, do a little deep conditioner uh, pre-poo treatment or whatever. And honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go there with the, with the deep conditioner in my hair. I'm sorry, I, had, I was thinking, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Cause when I sit down, she should just get straight to washing and stuff. So I think everything's gonna be fine. So what I'm about to do now on camera is my hot oil treatment, or at least put the oil in my hair. I took all my braids out. It took me a couple of hours, but it seemed pretty quick at the same time. And I brushed out the majority of my shed hairs. different oils here I have tea tree oil um, olive oil and uh, um, black Jamaican Jamaican black castor oil <laughs> so I've already warmed them up which all I did was I put them I put all three in a microwave safe container bowl whatever you want to call it and um, filled it up with some water and I put it in the microwave for three minutes to warm them up and so these, um, these three different oils, they're supposed to help with stimulating growth or yeah, they're supposed to stimulate hair growth. <laughs> and so um, like the tea tree oil would be for my scalp. I'm, I'm not really putting that on the length of my hair, but the black Jamaican castor oil, as well as the olive oil, I will be putting on the length of my hair. And the oil isn't, scalding hot y'all obviously i mean i don't know sometimes you gotta say certain things gotta put it out there common sense ain't all that common it should not burn your scalp okay that is not what you want it to do you want it to be warm i know it's called a hot oil treatment but you want it to be just as hot as you can stand it as hot as your scalp can stand it okay you not want to put no hot oil on your scalp it'll cool down as you're you know as you're going so you know start at the shop here just go ahead and start you know at at the end and work your way up to the scalp because i have burned my scalp before i'm speaking from experience and it's nowhere near fun fun i'm just gonna keep it g so i have my three oils here i have my towel here i have my shower caps here and my hot head and I am ready to start if I can take this bow out my head if that's one okay so I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna work in two sections part right down the middle <laughs> There's no 
particular order to this uh the main thing for me is just getting you know the oils on there it doesn't matter which oil you put on first but i want my hair to be soaked with oils i'm trying to get every single strand <laughs> interested in you know what I do as far as my hair care especially because I've, I have been doing pretty well as far as growth is concerned being able to grow and retain length and so I know you know some of my friends kind of just be like what you do for this you know I have you know a few friends especially from those that are new to being natural that kind of ask what products I may use for certain things or how often do I do certain things, you know. So this is a travel, fashion and lifestyle vlog. I mean, yeah, vlog channel, so I can give you a little lifestyle. This can fall into lifestyle, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to prep my hair. And I'd be so nervous about putting heat on my hair. I really, really adore my curls. Um, I know I don't wear them out that often, and that's because, again, I'm on my my uh, hair growth journey. I am going for waist length. <laughs> I guess kind of just to see if I can, but that is definitely my goal. And right now, I'm mid-back from the front if I was to pull my hair, you know, to the front, I'm arm armpit length, but if somebody was to pull it from the back, I'm bra strap length or, you know, mid back length, I'm not exactly sure how somebody would say. But like I said, I, uh, last time I, I measured my hair, it was 14 inches long, so go from there. So I am working on growing it. <laughs> big shot more than once i don't have pictures on hand still kind of in the <laughs> in the process of looking for those pictures because i do miss those pictures i want those pictures so i'm looking for those pictures but i have big chops before and this is me post second big chop i think this is two years of growth so um, I'm trying. I want my hair to be as long as Marion Hampton too. <laughs> or A Sellers, Ashley Sellers, or who else I'll be looking up to. I can't think off that. But yeah, I'm trying to grow my hair too. So just to reiterate, this is no tutorial. I'm simply just showing y'all what I do to prep and then I'm taking y'all with me to go get my hair done. All right, y'all, I am back. I rinsed out the oil. Let me uh, close these up before <laughs> they be all over the place and I be upset. <clears throat> okay, so I rinsed out my hair. Uh, I rinsed out as much oil as I could, but the residual will be out when she actually shampoos it. And so now I'm ready to put 
this deep conditioner in it. And so when it comes down to deep conditioner, I don't have a go-to. I get whatever I'm feeling at the time. And what I was feeling this time was Dugro. Nothing is sponsored. Nobody's sponsoring me. I'm just showing you guys what I'm getting, what you know, what I get. And so um, I just feel like I just really need a really, really good deep conditioner. Like I said, uh, the color part of my hair is the driest part. And I just, I just do my very best to condition it and to try to give it as much nutrients as I possibly can, especially when I'm doing a style that requires heat. So I've got, I got two different ones. I got the uh, Intense Repair, Mega Thick Intense Repair. Uh, which is a rebuilding thickening treatment. It says help thick, helps thicken and strengthen with aloe vera protein and shea butter, rebuilds and helps repair damage, promotes thick, strong, healthy hair, helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. And um, I also have Mega Long Extreme Reconstructor is ultimate strengthening conditioner and it says conditions and strengthens with aloe i mean with olive oil avocado oil and silk protein helps repair damaged hair helps reduce breakage allowing hair to grow longer helps promote strong healthy hair so it helps do a lot of what i needed to do and so i'm going to use both because again i feel like <laughs> my hair just really needs it and <clears throat> This trim is gonna help it, but the heat isn't necessarily. So I just want to protect my hair as much as I possibly can. take a picture of the the deep conditioners I'm just now realizing it so I guess it's kind of good that I told you what it does <laughs> all right y'all um I'll be back probably in the car yeah see you then all right y'all so I am on the way and I am driving while I'm doing this because I'm running late. I mean, technically for me, I'm, I left at the time that I said I was going to leave. Ooh, I thought I was police. I was about to drop the phone. But I left at the time that I said I was going to uh, leave. Like, my appointment is at 1.30. Technically, the place is 30 minutes from my house. So I said I was going to leave no later than 1. And I left at 1. Oh, 05. But, so, anyway... I didn't account for Atlanta traffic at one o'clock either. So that's kind of putting me like 15 minutes behind schedule. So now I'm kind of racing the, you know, for, for real, honestly, I'm, I'm pushing it. I'm going as fast as I can. If I can cut down some of the time, I definitely am going to do that. But I know when I get there, I'm not going to have time to talk to y'all. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Um, and so basically only thing that I really wanted to kind of like tell y'all is that I don't have nobody with me, you know, see, ain't nobody with me. <laughs> so this footage I'm going to get, I'm 
I'm getting it myself. But I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to do the very best that I can to get the very best footage that I can of what she's doing. When I get there, I'm just jumping out and running in. Post she don't curse me out. This is my first time. <laughs> this is my first time getting my hair done by her. But it's ain't my first time meeting her. She is my cousin. So yeah. So all right. I'll come back when I'm there. Hey, Shantae. Gotta put my lip gloss on. My cousin did not let me know. I'm gonna be all <laughs> on the damn video and stuff. But hey. she look good though. <laughs> like you say, me putting or uh, me always doing stuff with my hair is dry at the end. Yeah, when you put color now, you gotta really, really keep it moisturized. Yeah. But it's a good level. It's not like you took it up to a high level. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do too much. I just wanted a, a little color to it. Got a little bit cute with my curls. Oof. Oh, God, you want the curls to pop. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because it, okay. it pop, you know, it pop more when you get a little color, when you have a little color versus when it's just, you know, natural brown to me. Well, yeah. But you just gotta know when you're doing stuff, it's called maintenance. You gotta keep that maintenance up. Right.
trying to get on my nerves. But anyway, so hair is done. And it is pretty. I'm coming through my curls because it's not going to be like this tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving. I forgot to tell you guys that. But yes, y'all. So I got my hair pressed and trim got a couple cute curls in here like i said tomorrow is thanksgiving and i will be cooking so i'm gonna run home wrap my hair up and like i said it'll look completely different tomorrow but the main thing that i really 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 wanted was everything that she did the deep con deep conditioning i deep condition my own hair <clears throat> just because i wasn't 100 percent sure like you don't know what i was included you know what i'm saying and so like i said this is my first time going to my cousin for a press and trim that steam was everything the shampoo she used was everything it was just great she did great i, I didn't doubt her it was, like i said if i'm pressing my hair i usually press my hair but i knew i needed to get it trimmed and so on and so forth so why not go to my cousin who better to go to than the person that i know and trust and love anyway um yeah y'all so that is that one more <laughs> all right y'all i'll see y'all next one happy thanksgiving and i'll holla at you later bye friends